Welcome to this basic overview of Zero Surge's series mode filter technology and how it compares to the traditional metal oxide barrister or MOV technology. If you want a deeper dive into Zero Surge or its technology, please go to zerosurge.com for product pictures, specifications, papers, news, videos, and more. So let's begin. Normal clean power in North America has an RMS voltage of 120 volts and oscillates at 60 Hertz. This means that the voltage over time oscillates between minus 170 and 170 volts, making a complete cycle in 1 60th of a second. The normal power wave exists in this blue zone. Sensitive electronics are designed to survive around double the expected power range and is designated by UL standard to be safe around 330 volts. This safe power zone is represented by the green zone. A surge is a high frequency impulse that has many causes. It could be a motor running, a heater cycling on and off, or even a light switch can create a surge. 80% of surges originate from inside a building. So let's see how different types of surge protection react to surges. I will show you that the response to a 1000 volt surge is different depending on the technology used. For this demonstration, I will show the surge with no protection, a whole building surge protector that has MOV technology, a traditional plug-in MOV surge protector, and finally Zero Surge's series mode filter technology. Now remember, the blue zone is the normal power wave area, and the green area is the power safe zone. So there you have four 1000 volt surges. Let's look at each one in detail. The first one has no protection. So what you can see is that the voltage rises very quickly. This change over time is what damages semiconductors that are used in today's power supplies. The smaller the power supply, the more likely the damage will occur. This surge will likely damage a small IoT device and even an LED light bulb but it will also be one more event that leads to an early failure for your sensitive electronics. The second surge also has a very high voltage rise until that MOV engages, for which most whole building surge protectors is at 600 volts or higher. During the surge, the MOV diverts most of the surge energy to the ground and thus interrupts power for that brief time, which is represented by the dip. This device allows for unsafe levels of surge energy to reach your sensitive electronics before engaging their protection. For the third, the plug-in MOV protector operates basically the same way, but at a lower voltage. But even as the surge rises past the normal power wave, it does so at a higher voltage rate, and the power is interrupted while the surge is diverted to the ground line. Finally, the zero surge response is quite different. The slope of the rise is slower and it's kept at safer levels. Power is not interrupted. This is what keeps your sensitive electronics safe. Now there are other issues not covered by this demonstration that make MOV technology less safe and less effective. But if there's one aspect we want you to remember is that zero surge's filter technology keeps your sensitive electronics safe. And this shows you how. Thank you for watching this short demonstration. If you have questions, please contact us at info at zerosurge.com. You can go to our website, zerosurge.com, or you can call us at 1-800-996-6696. Thank you.